We've hit the quarter pole in the high school football season. Three weeks in, and New Hanover are playing under lights at Legion Stadium for the first time. And in Bergol, a streak came to an end with a victory. Buckle up because Friday Night Football starts right now. You're watching WECT's Friday Night Football with John Smith. Sponsored by Derm One, McDonald's, and a and Fire and Water Restoration. We don't mess around. We start with our game of the week coming off a loss to South Florence. New Hanover looking for win number one, playing Wilson Hunt. Second quarter, Hunt's Jacob Williamson. Keeper, number eight in for six. That cut the Wildcats lead to 22-19 at the half. Third quarter now. Giving the ball to the big fella, Darius Barnes, and look at him go down the sideline, cuts it back, and well, finally taken down. That would lead to Barnes. Takes a handoff to the outside, and nobody's going to touch him. Hunt taking a 25 22 lead, but the Wildcats trying to drive their way back. Well, Ward Coleman finds time. Karen Reed picks up the first down just a few plays later. Coleman and Reed again, another first down. This one a thriller down at Legion Stadium. Coleman with a touchdown with 33 seconds to go. New Hanover, they come from behind. They win tonight 36 to 32. Week four, New Hanover, they play host to Purnell Sweats. With that, I welcome you to week three of Friday Night Football. I'm your host, John Smith, alongside Ben Pollin with week three in the books. That means that we have officially hit to say the quarter pole of the season. Yeah, and now that the first week of September is here, we'll be watching closely as your favorite local teams start their push to the postseason. That's unfamiliar territory for Ashley High School, who hasn't been to the playoffs since 2007. That's right, tonight's good to be playing close to Fairmont team. Ashley coming off, well, 0-2, looking for win number one in a very good play on the very first play for the Golden Tornadoes, Julius Calder. By Shaquem Lambert. That is a 71 yard touchdown. Extra point, no good. 6 0 Golden Tornadoes, but the Ashley defense, well, they were game this afternoon. Called her back to pass. Picked off by Parker Greenough. Mm. Ashley could not get the offense going. Forced to punt. And, well, a good punt. You don't see many punts. Good punts. Poor execution on the other end. It's muffed. Uh -oh. And it's green enough. Coming up with a fumble. Ashley. Well, could not get anything going on offense. But Fairmont, they were able to find the end zone next time with the ball. Calder finds Isaac Howard. Catch, cut back, in for six. Tonight, belong to the Golden Tornadoes. They win by the final tonight, 33 to 13. Week four, Ashley. They are at White Oak. Head to Bergaw. Pender, South Brunswick. Patriots, 13-game losing streak. The Cougars, an 18-game losing streak. Something's Somebody's got to win. Mm -hmm. A streak will end tonight. First possession of the game, South Brunswick. Highly tired. Oops, Malik Douglas from the ball. Justin Hooper recovers. Patriots looking to get something going. Hooper making it happen. Cutting back, getting blocks, but... There's a little thing called a flag on this play. Holding on the offense does not count. Later in the first, quarterback Jake Rawls hands off to Hooper, but Hooper loses the ball, and it's Malik Douglas. Pick six, taking it back for the score. Right before the half, Hooper again. Pender getting on the board because Hooper's going to slip past a ton of tackles. Takes this one. 30 yards for the score, and well, after that, this one pretty much all Cougars because South Brunswick ends the streak tonight in Bergal. They win 42 to 12. Wow. Week four, South Brunswick, they are at North Brunswick. Battle of County Rivalries, Pender, they are off. Ben? All right, a rivalry renewed in Brunswick County as North Myrtle Beach crosses the state line to take on West Brunswick. First year head coach Bob Hanna still looking for his first win as a Trojan. He doesn't like to see that right there. That's a touchdown, North Myrtle Beach, 7-0 early. Trojans doing their best 300 impression. Charge into the end zone, tie game. North Myrtle Beach back at it, though. Jump ball for Gore, Ooh. and he goes and gets it. 
inside the red zone, and then the run game was working too. Daquan Montgomery breaks free from the pack. Looks like he's going all the way, but he's finally brought down from behind. And then we finally see some signs of mortality. An interception. West Brunswick takes over, but it just wasn't enough. North Myrtle Beach wins this one 26 to 13. Week four, West Brunswick is at South Columbus. With wins over Pender and Trask. Topsail already with Pender County bragging right tonight. Pirates trying to move to 3 0 with a win over White Oak. Final stop, and it's White Oak's Elijah Harris runs in for the first touchdown of the game, and it's Nick Attilio. It's picked off by Brian Goodwin. The Pirates D, they would hold a goal line stand, some momentum. Then it's Topsail's Tyler Andrews coming up with a big catch, and well, the big fella. Going to turn on the Jets before he's taken down, but picks up the first down. That would set up the big fella. Fed knows all about this guy, Josh Jessup, into the end zone. That made it 7-6. to six. The Vikings would answer back with their running back. Justin Smith, the big touchdown play, 13-6 Vikings. But Topsil not done. Nick Tillio just before the half. Tyler Andrews crosses the goal line, but second half along to the Vikings. White Oak, they come away with the win tonight. 42 to 12, week four, Topsail, they hit the road, they are at Croatan. Head over to Leland, North Brunswick at home against East Columbus Scor Scorpions, coming off a win against Trask. Gators coming off a bye and off the opening kickoff, East Columbus set to receive and Thomas Yates can't hold on to the ball. North Brunswick comes up with it. This would set the tone for the rest of the night. Fourth down, East Columbus ball. Punter Rodney Gill. High snap and block. Eric Wheeler scoops, takes it down to the two yard line. North Brunswick would score on the next play. More North Brunswick later in the first. Tiger oh. Bryant, the handoff to Sean Montgomery. He's taken down at the one, and well, Bryant would eventually call his own number. Goes in for the score is 20 0 at the half. North Brunswick, no problems tonight. They pick up the victory. 48 to 6, week four, North Brunswick. They host South Brunswick. East Columbus, they are at Trask. Welcome back to Friday Night Football. The Wallace Hills, Wallace Rose Hill Bulldogs, number one ranked team in the 1A ranks. They earned that after beating the defending state champs, James Keenan, last Friday night. You could say that Wallace Rose Hill has been the most impressive team so far. Definitely the highest scoring with over 100 points in its first two games. Bulldogs looking to start their season with three wins in a row. The last time they did that, John, was 2010 when they got that state championship ring. Yeah, tonight, the Bulldogs, number one ranks, hitting the road, taking on East Duplin. Walsh Rose Hill up 21 0 in the third quarter. Snap sails over the punter's head. He's down at the 11 yard line. That would set up the big fella, Keyshawn Kennedy, rumbling down the sideline into the end zone. That made it 28 0 Bulldogs. They weren't done tonight. Punt return, Johnny Gillespie cuts the corner, gets some blocks down the sideline. 40 yard return to the 20 yard line. That would set up a two yard Xavier Smith touchdown. That made it 35 0. We're not done. Another run, Smith. Nine yards, that made it 41 nothing. Wallace, they roll tonight. They win 53 to seven, week four. Wallace, they're at Jones. James Keenan hosts East Duplin. Ben? Well, after dropping a game last week, Whiteville has another tough test at home against West Bladen. The Wolfpack baseball team sporting some new hardware. They got their state championship rings at halftime, and that's where we pick things up. Third quarter, Whiteville up by one, hand off to Taryn Manning. Shakes off one tackle, bounces to the left, picks up a nice chunk of yards. No points on that drive, though. West Bladen takes over now with a run of their own. Trevor Lassane. Insane. Insane. Yeah. Picks up a first down out of bounds. Then a couple plays later, Colby Lewis drops back to pass. He throws a bomb high up in Ooh. the sky. Caught inside the red zone. The Whiteville coach not happy about that. But the defense holds strong, doesn't allow any points. Fourth quarter now, Whiteville up by one. Nidir Carr takes matters into his own hands, tucks the ball and runs 30 plus for a TD. Whiteville in control. They win this one by a final 28 to 19. Next week, West Bladen is at St. Paul's. Whiteville is at Clinton. Stand that 1A ranks. James Keenan playing host to Union this evening, along with that number one ranking going to the wayside after they lost 
to J Wallace. They lost their 16-game winning streak. James Keenan, well, scores the first. Ken Haven, 43-yard touchdown pass to John Brooks. Two-point conversion, good. 8-0 Tigers in row. Haven, not just a thrower. He's a runner. This one, four-yard touchdown just like that. It's 15-0. Well, Avent also a thrower. This time, this one goes for 53 yards for the touchdown. No one's going to catch him. 29-0 at that point. James Keenan, well, they rebound in a big way. They beat Union 57-3. Week four, James Keenan, they play host to East Duke. Ben? It was a border battle in Tabor City as Loris and South Columbus meet up for another chapter in their rivalry. The Lions and Stallions have split their last four games. A tough start for South Columbus. First offensive play of the game. The snap goes over the head of the quarterback, picked up by Jordan Henningway. The big fella takes it in for the touchdown, and just like that, Morris is up 7-0. After a quick three and out, the Lions are on the attack. Quarterback Tajay Williams, quick as a cat. Get it there? He's a lion. He's quick as a cat. 80-yard touchdown run. South now 14-0. They're trailing. And things go from bad to worse. Watch here as the quarterback, Chase Gore, Ooh. takes a crushing hit. He would be down for a while. He had to leave the game. So insert new quarterback, Rashad Chapman. He's really a fullback, but this time he hands off to Dennis Leggett. Picks up 20-plus yards Leggett on this outs. run. That's about as good as it got for Sal. A few plays later, Chapman throws it deep, picked off. Desmond Dozier seals this one for Loris. They roll 50 to nothing. South falls to 0-2. Next week, the Stallions host West Brunswick.